this again is for the young people themselves, the parents, for their children in particular, and because we know how tough this environment is now for young people who can't get enough schooling and really do the things they need to do as a young person first. So what do we see? We know the economy is tough, uh, but this message is nothing new, I would hope. I'm sure most of you have heard it. And you know, fill us in here a little bit in terms of why do we think the number is going up? What's going on in society that would lead to an increase instead of more decrease? You know, we did a great survey with the Candy Foundation last year, and uh, girls reported three very sneaky reasons that they're getting pregnant. You know, uh, when you're a teenager, sex just happens. They're not prepared with, um, they're not prepared in the moment. They're sort of swept away with uh, sort of the emotions and the feelings. Um, a lot of girls aren't using their birth control properly. They can throw on the pill, they skip a day, they miss a day. Um, and then there are girls who are um, afraid to insist on condoms. Um, and so it's sort of these three sneaky reasons that, you know, you sort of look around and you think, why now when we have the internet and there is great, um, real, smart information about how girls get pregnant. I think that everybody knows how you get pregnant. Um, and so the question really is, why is it happening now? And those were the three reasons, the emotional reasons that girls gave us for this. Um, you know, the one bright spot of that survey that I just can't emphasize enough is that 70% of teen girls said that if they had a plan for their future, it would prevent unplanned pregnancy. And so, you know, it's such an important thing to think about feeding your dreams. I'm so happy that all these great girls and guys are here today because when you feed your dreams for the future, it gives you something to plan for beyond that moment. So let's get some perspective on, let's redefine the question of how kids get pregnant, okay? Or how people get pregnant. Let's assume everybody knows, except me. I'm very innocent. So Bristol, in redefining it, how kids get pregnant, what do you think is happening with teenagers that makes them lose sight of what can happen if they have unprotected sex? I think they're not thinking about the future and they're not thinking before they act. It's just going with the experience as opposed to having a plan of what it what might mean. Yeah, and thinking about the consequences. Hey, one please, one of, please, please. One of the important things that we talked about also is not just having a plan for the future, but having a plan for that moment mm. as well because um, absolutely, it's you're not think maybe at that moment you're not thinking about the big future and your big dreams for your career. But what what can you what can you think about in that moment? How can I you prepare for that moment? I think it's also though human nature just to say in your head, oh, I know it happens all the time, but it'll never happen to me. Yeah, exactly. So easy, and I I I know that through working with the environment and and seeing people's viewpoints or lack of interest in it and you realize that people don't realize the severity of it or don't, don't really pay attention to it until it directly affects them, it directly impacts their lives. And I, I just think that's, that's a, a natural thing to do. It's, it's not uh, poo-pooing it and saying you're, you're bad for thinking that, but it, it's, it's true. It's something I think that runs through everyone's head and they go, oh, just once. This just once, it, it's probably, it's not going to happen to me. Just once I can have intercourse without a condom, without well, birth control. And Garza, Garza, get in here, because Matt was making an interesting point uh, before we came out here. That for a lot of kids, you can tell them whatever you want, and it yeah. travels this way and is at the same speed coming out the other side <laughs> when they're in the moment. Right? I tell you, you know, just being that same spot, you know, 10 years ago, being a teen, it's, that's what you're sitting, you're sitting there going, yeah, well, you know, well, Hayden's here. Oh, my gosh, oh, look, Bristol, you know. It's that, that's what you know. Most of them are doing. You know, I've seen camera phones snapping all over the place. But you know, the, here, you guys are here to you know just keep an open mind. Don't just shut it down and try to waste two hours because you got out of class and you're like, yay! Just you know, keep an open mind and you know just let even if you just take little you know pieces. You know, I, I call them nuggets, little nuggets of information. Oh, you know, hopefully you know you could spread around and you know spread this word. You know, just let it go. And hopefully we can try to relate to you guys as well because. I mean, as a young female, I know what's going through your head. I know what, what you're thinking in that moment, whether it's I'm too shy to say no, I'm too embarrassed because it's going to make him or her think badly of me. It's not true. It's not true, but I know that's what goes through your head. So we'll, we'll try not to bore you with tons of facts, but relate to you instead and, and try to 
get on the same level playing field where you can understand that we come from places of knowing and trying to say that it's okay to say no. It's okay to say, hey, I don't want to do this without using protection. It's okay. And it's okay not to do it at all. You don't have to do it. You don't. It's, it's your choice. You don't have to please anyone but yourself. And let me tell you, you will be so, so thankful at the end of the day when you are smart and you don't have to deal with the consequences. You know, it was interesting. Bristol was on uh, the, the show I worked at Good Morning America this morning, and Bristol's position is abstinence is the best way to make sure that 100% chance of uh, the time you won't be in a, in a mistake.